Are you always cold? Do you get lightheaded, dizzy, and tired easily? Have you noticed that your nails are super brittle? Then sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you may be anemic. Anemia, nicknamed lack of blood, is a condition where your body doesn't have enough red blood cells, or the red blood cells it has are dysfunctional, weak, or sickled. According to the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute, there are three main causes of anemia. Blood loss from things like heavy menstrual cycles, surgery, and or serious injury, a lack of red blood cell production from a poor nutritional diet, hormonal issues, and or pregnancy, and a more inherited condition like sickle cell anemia. Side note, did you know in the United States, African Americans and Hispanics are more likely to have sickle cell anemia or sickle cell traits than whites? Because it's a natural mutation that equips us with a defense against dying from malaria. I wish I can go into the details, but that's not what this video is about. But if you're interested, I left a link below to an easy read on this topic. All right, there's over 400 types of anemia conditions. But when it comes to hair loss, let's take a closer look at iron deficiency anemia. Iron is an essential element for blood production. It's not made in your body and must be absorbed from what you eat. About 70% of your body's iron is found in your red blood cells, called hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is needed for carrying oxygen from your lungs to different areas around your whole body, including your hair follicles, and oxygen is vital for hair growth. Here's a simplified explanation of how it all works. Under normal circumstances, after you consume an iron supplement or foods rich in iron, your body breaks it down to its simple usable form through your digestive system. The iron is released into your bloodstream and absorbed into your red blood cells where it converts to hemoglobin. The hemoglobin in your red blood cells get oxygen from your lungs, trap it into its tangled web, and delivers it along with other wonderful nutrients to various organs in your body, including your hair follicles. Oxygen is vital for sustaining life or energy for every living thing. On a micro level, it provides your cells in your hair follicles with what they need to regenerate and grow hair. An inadequate supply of oxygen to your hair follicles doesn't just make your hair grow out slower, thinner, and weaker. It also causes a lot of your hair follicles to shed and die. Kind of like a plant whose roots don't get enough oxygen. Hence why hair loss is a symptom of iron deficiency. Until recently, there's been no cure for sickle cell anemia. Sufferers of the disease were either stuck with blood transfusions, vitamin cocktails, pain meds, or even a bone marrow transplant. But there's been a recent breakthrough in the medical world, where people now have the option of getting a stem cell transplant that can completely reverse the disease. It's a new therapy, but if you're interested in learning more about it, you can find a paper by the National Institute of Health in the description section below. They even include a phone number you can call if you're interested in participating in the clinical trials. This breakthrough wasn't covered much in the media, so please spread the word to anyone you know that's suffering from this disease. On the flip side, conditions like iron deficiency is easily curable with a few lifestyle changes. Here's some suggestions. First, get your hemoglobin levels checked to confirm that you are in fact iron deficient. Consuming too much iron can cause an overdose, which is a pretty serious condition. If you are iron deficient, since iron is not made in the body and must be absorbed from what you eat, try taking iron supplements. According to the National Institute of Health, the recommended dietary allowance for men 19 years and up is 8 milligrams per day. For women 19 and up, 
is 18 milligrams per day. And for pregnant women 19 and up, it's 27 milligrams per day. Your doctor will be able to prescribe the right type and dosage for you. Another way to increase your iron intake is to eat foods that are rich in iron like oysters, white beans, dark chocolate, spinach, and tofu. Also, daily wheatgrass shots and or daily green juicing are amazing at improving the overall condition of your entire body. And it builds your blood with everything it needs to feed your hair, skin, and organs. Lastly, try swapping out your regular frying pan with a good quality iron skillet. Believe it or not, cooking your meals in an iron skillet adds a significant amount of iron to your food. Oh, one last thing. I'm not sure if you've heard of an oxygen scalp treatment, where stylus uses something like this to spray air directly on your scalp. This is a great scalp treatment for unclogging your pores, clearing out debris, and potentially creating a balanced scalp environment. And it's even better if you add infusions like burdock root and chlorophyll, which can help condition your scalp and follicles. Here's a link to a great video example from one of my fellow YouTubers, Style by Shawnee Hair Studio, where she shows you step by step how the treatment is done. But it's important to know that even though it's called an oxygen scalp treatment, it does nothing to improve any internal lack of oxygen issues like anemia or iron deficiency. So if your hair is thinning out or falling out due to any type of anemia, an oxygen scalp treatment will not help. Hey, get more involved with Green Beauty channel videos. Let's Talk Post gives you the opportunity for your point of view on different topics to be heard. Let's Talks are posted randomly on all the Green Beauty channel social media pages. I read all your comments, which can be featured in a Green Beauty channel video. Make sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest for helpful tips with pictures. I hope this video was helpful. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.